Alright, today I'm gonna show you how to make a beat selling website with Shopify. Yeah, that's a very exciting one. Since we've been doing WordPress for some time, I'm like, you know what? Let me also spice it up a bit and try and check out how Shopify is. Cause Shopify is pretty good because one thing I like about Shopify is how easy it is to use. And also they have super fast servers, you know what I'm saying? Like I have a Shopify store where I just sell my custom products like themes and templates. And it's so quick, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, but I use all of them. It's also up to you whether you're gonna choose Shopify or WordPress but on this video I'll just be focusing on the Shopify one so if you are a music producer and you want to grow then hit that sub button I right, let's get it so as you can see now I'm on my Google Chrome we're starting from nothing now go to Shopify okay so we're gonna go to Shopify so I can just create a new account for free as you can see I have a free three-day trial I'm gonna skip right to start free and now I can answer these questions. If you are just selling, I mean, if you are just starting, you can click here. If you are already selling beats on WordPress, you can click there. But I'm just starting. I'm clicking that one. And uh, let's check. I want to create an online store. Not a pop-up store, but an online store. You click on online store. Then music, digital, art. Then click next. All right, cool. Here, that's when you're gonna create the account. I'm gonna just continue with Google. You know, it's just been press, press, press. I haven't typed nothing much. I already Shopify, and I'm gonna select this email. Okay, I right, just validated my account. Okay, cool. Once it's done, it might give you this error. Just refresh. I want to refresh then you get your admin dashboard for Shopify almost look like WordPress since all the you know menus are on the left but yeah it's pretty simple and easy to use so what we're gonna do now is just set up our theme let's quickly customize how our theme will look like that's mean how our website's gonna look like okay now we have to choose a theme and as you can see currently we have this dawn theme selected and we're gonna go with this theme just click on customize Okay, cool. So now this is our banner, our homepage. That's our menu. So I think first thing first we'd like to do is just to change some colors on this. Because you can see it has a white background and you want to make it a bit dark. So here on the left, you can go to theme settings. And then you want to go to colors. And then we're going to go to select scheme one. And the background color, we're going to make it, yeah, just black. Yeah, maybe just like that. You can choose whatever color you want. Since now that's black, the text must be white. There you go. Uh, yeah, so far I think that's good for now when I'm starting. Now I want to change the background picture here. So you see how simple it is. Just click on image banner. And then now I'm going to just select an image. And I think this is fast because this is running off Shopify servers. And Shopify has fast servers. I'm impressed. Okay, cool. I'm going to look for a picture that I'm going to put in the background. Alright, I'll put this one so that you can show that it's a bit store. Alright, I'm gonna click done. Then cool, there's our picture and here's the overlay opacity at the side. If I make it a bit more darker. Yep, maybe like this. Then here I'll just type or let me just say Reggie beats okay and then here by the button instead of just saying shop shop all I can say listen or browse beats let me say browse beats okay cool so now we have our pistols looking a bit better now let's just change some more information let's go to settings and go back out of the colors so we can just put a logo I'm gonna just select any picture of my computer that looks that like it could be a logo. That looks like it could be a logo. I'm gonna select that. Then click done. Then there's my logo there. You see they showing that the corner. I can just make it smaller if I want. Okay, great. So now the menu, right? We've changed the menu and put some correct text there. So that's fine. We're gonna go back to sections and you click on the header. 
because the menu is here by the header and you see here it says main menu click on this it's gonna open on your new page and now you can edit your headers here i mean your menu so what you can do is uh maybe instead of catalog just say beats yeah so if you want to add a new menu of something maybe you want to add for sound kids you can do that then put the link that goes to your sound kids i'll just make it the products then click okay is it products all products then click add then save and now if you refresh here there you go now our menu has changed so this one's will leave it there and the welcome to our store part you can disable it or you can leave it there so to disable it is very simple you just click on this hide so now it's gone okay cool so now we need to add our beats now okay because now i feel like our site is not looking bad all i gotta do is add our beats our cut is there and it's already working and integrated let's click on save now let's go back exit we're exiting the store now you're going to app so you're gonna go to apps so apps in shopify is just like plugins in wordpress then you're gonna go to shopify app store where you're gonna look for this app that will help us sell beats search for tune boom there it is right there yeah tune boom just click on it and click on install then select the email so you can log in okay click on install app all right cool now here's our tune boom dashboard is open and you see here it says create new track it's so simple shout out to whoever that made this this is dope and you're gonna click on create to add a new beat add a new track and then you're gonna call it let me call it booming that's the name of the beat let me go look for the image look how simple it is and how quick it is man like for real i'll use this picture here click on upload man very impressive and here you can see this is already set up for me to upload so i don't need to do anything all i have to do now is just select the audios that i have to put in so untagged audio so now i'm gonna i'm just gonna select the tagged audio first add file and i go to my beats choose this beat upload okay my upload is almost done now you can just be filling some of the details the primary i'll just say hip hop secondary trap and mood i'll choose the mood that's there and the bpm 168 this is dope man the person who made this had the same mind as me <laughs> okay now yeah that's good so now i have to add this files so i'm just gonna add the untagged audio or the stems i'm just gonna choose any file here it'll just act at the stem for now then click on upload So here on the untagged audio i'll just still select the same audio that i've uploaded before because i'm just doing it for test for example so okay tagged audio is selected make sure it's selected and show the name even here let's make sure that the picture is selected okay yeah now it's selected okay so that's it and this are uh, for the licenses first of all let's just leave it with the basic pricing and then i'm gonna show you how to do the licenses just click save all right well it'll give this error but it works when you're gonna go to tracks see that it's right here so now let's go to our website and see how it's looking like with that track so go to online store and then click on the i so you can view the online store Oh, there you go here's my menu there and then here's my home page and here's my beat right so let's go inside the booming let's see if it plays there we go play okay that's dope it just needs maybe a bit of 
color design there and there, but okay. So to add another beat is pretty simple. You can just go to apps, select tune boom, and you can pin it here as well to your navigation so it stays there. And then you just create add a new track. So when you create a new track, automatically it goes and creates a product here. There you go. So yeah, you don't need to go to products anymore. You can just go to Tune Boom, and then you create as many tracks as you want. And yeah, so that's it for this video. On the next video, I'm gonna show you how to configure your licenses and also how to customize your website even further. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.